What's up, Patreon? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Lo. Keith. I'm Curtis. And I'm Jarek. I seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. Simon Dominic, Killing Verse. Shout out to Lauren Wiseheart. Um, she kind of want me to get this done for a little bit. She told me to take my time with it, but um, I figured we'd fuck with this too because we really like him on this channel. So mm. we can uh, just jump right into it and then have a discussion after we're done. Respect. Y'all familiar <laughs> Thank you for with, being the, patient. Um, with these? Too. Kill Killer verse. Mm -hmm. Nope. I have no idea what this is. Some of the rappers you like probably got a killing verse up. Um, mm. Basically, uh, it's mostly the SK rappers. Mm. Um, so like their versions really, of ciphers, kind of. Mm -hmm. It let them do like they most popular songs. They'll do it vocally, so you can hear them what they sound like spitting it on you know on the mic and shit. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna do probably five or six of his songs on here, and just kind of rap for us. But we can talk about it with that. Jump to it. Good luck, Lauren. Hey, Azo. Hey, I'm just Simon Dominic Sandimita. Here, Ron, I'm here. 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 I'm yeah, but that's Korean. Something about the rappers kissing them. Yeah, That's not even what he said. <laughs> I feel like it's not fair. We don't have a fire, God damn. Oh, we just going right through shit, son. Huh? He got vibes. I know, right? I Don't 
Muro virado, curte de monta, tampa bom, milhão, banama, bem, ama. Miriam Louro de Jean. Miriam Louro de Jean. Lá, o que é que é fazer? Não está a ouvir, não. It wouldn't matter, you wouldn't know where you're at anyway. Yeah, that's what I said. Jesus Christ. And kept that syllable rhyme scheme going that whole time. Now you sound like Fuji. <laughs> Produced by Gray. I was like, yeah, Gray, my guy. Gray, my guy. Jared. <laughs> I thought he oh, said beat a nigga up. I said, hey, what you, hey. <laughs> that was lit. That shit was fucking amazing. Yeah, I'm 
Nice homophone. Too many bags you can <laughs> jump in, you know. <laughs> you got a fucking catalog, bro. Damn it, damn it, da, 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 da. Now the first is da, 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 da. I'm ready to die, and I'll be ready to die, da. That's what we're jumping, da, 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 da. Da, 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 I'm gonna have a threesome with this speech. <laughs> what? I'm gonna have a threesome with what? Yeah, I was like, yo. Just for that, download it. I'm gonna have a threesome with what? Yeah, I was like, yo. They doing goosebumps? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> fake gangsters on your honey with your hand thumb? Shotgun, you know you're doing it, hand thumb. Even younger than those in the water, yeah, so. Not a mess with the people, I got a man thumb. He's so much trash. He got to do the. Track me and soda. Hey, y'all already know we fucked with this one. Oh, you know the words to us? He's in money. Oh, okay. Oh, the fuck would say, oh, touche. 
That was up, though. That was up, though. That's how you end that oh, shit. I was dying. I was dying, man. But he woke me up with that. With the, with the, with well, the I woke up the. <laughs> <laughs> that, shit, that shit was punching me, man. I was like, yo, the weed hit everything. I'm like, oh, this is a loop. Oh, it's a loop. No, it's a loop. It's a loop. Give me the loop. Give me the loop. Yeah. Off rip. I'm a bad, bad. I love, I love this. Even though it was, it was it was lengthy, and it's only lengthy just because we've eaten and, and he did like high. ten tracks. Yeah, no. Well, I'm saying any other time I'd be like, oh, but oh was, yeah, the, the marijuana, the, the food, everything. It was just <laughs> weighing me down. But I heard every single song in the bags that he was going in. Yeah, one song he sounded like Marshall, bro. I was like, he literally switched his voice up, literally kind of on two tracks. And it didn't sound, and like, and I don't sound like Future. Eminem, but it didn't sound like no like. He did sound like Future. Corny or shit or something. Or he went to the trap bag. Don't do Eminem like that. He went, no, I, I say he, he, it is, it is, when I say it, he didn't sound like the Slim Shady. That was a guy with a tie with a clown with a tie. That shit. Like he went <laughs> ten different bags. I feel like he had a vibe, John. Yeah, like, like a clean vibe. Yeah, like two, yeah, like two little, little vibes. Like two little joints. Like you said, he had the future joints. Yeah, like the church track too. Kind of like the yeah. the, the, lonely, yeah. the lonely night so thing. Done, like he, he actually has a really great voice too. And he had uh, like two uh, boom. Vocal control was amazing. Uh, you know what's wild? Yeah. I, I forget. I think me and Lo had this conversation like off camera, and I was talking about how he's my favorite SK rapper, mm-hmm. and that he has like uh, it's it's funny because we talk about uh, like people kind of with holding the stance of time because I thought he was a young boy yeah. and uh, he's like 35 or 34 or something like that I thought yeah he was you see the first song say 2007 yeah <laughs> so um, I thought he was a little younger than this but he kind of has one of these flows where it seemed like he kind of can get in where he fit in anywhere if he wanted to that evolving he can do a cypher if he mm-hmm. wants to with like some SK rappers We've heard him on idol tracks with uh, like King Daniel and other people before. Even. I think usually if you go slow flow, you got to have like a lot of great lyricism to kind of back it up. Mm-hmm. Um, but he taps into so many lanes where it's like he can have that slow flow and switch up. Like like he's really versatile in, mm-hmm. in the way he can attack a track and everything like that. So I mean, I just feel like I've only barely scratched the surface, and I can already see why you know people regard him in such a high standard. Let me ask you a question. So, like, if we didn't have this video on and you just heard the songs, would you think it's one person or would you think they just going back I to back on the cypher? I thought it was more than one person. I thought it was more right, than one Right, because I would have like, at least thought layering up, or something. His flow changes up. Like, dude is versatile as shit. And he's talking thought they about gave five like, niggas with, like, right. two different beats yeah. or something. <laughs> like, he's 35. Like, he. I'm not definitely. Yeah, I'm not even making like artist comparison or anything jumps. like that, but it really just gave me Kendrick kind of vibes as far as voice inflections and flow switches and, and lyricism and everything like that. But I mean, that's just more of like like who I could think of. Kendrick voice get a little annoying to me sometimes. Well, no, nah, yeah, I can understand that's where you're coming so from. That but shit. That's it, it, it can. That's Some, sometimes I can get why listening to certain people for an extended album, you might be a little like, <sighs> I'm like eight tracks in, and you like. All right, goblin, like let's go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but no, nah, I get what you say. Wow. <laughs> anyway, else got anything they want to add? Wow. Sorry, Kendrick. Oh, that shit was tough. Jerick, this drum was nice, you know. <clears throat> um, he had a lot of versatility. That lonely night drum was, I like that one. That was probably one of my favorites. I like the one where he sounded like Future. That one was that one was hot. He was on something crazy right there. Um, he got a lot of you know crazy flows. I got mad respect for Simon Dominic, of course. He up there, top three of my favorite SK rappers. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was like the third or fourth song, but he had like this uh, one inner syllable rhyme scheme that he must have carried for, it felt like 20, 30 seconds. Like he was just stretching and stretching as the beat was like building and building and everything like that. That was probably like the, the biggest highlight for me. I mean, aside as far as like um, his actual lyrics, but the biggest shock for me in the video was hearing that like more church kind of side of his voice. Like I didn't know his voice, like he had that kind of voice as well behind that. Um, and the last thing I was really going to say was just that it's um, it's shocking because, you know, when we hear most K-pop stuff, when you hear a rap verse, it's like usually six to eight lines, maybe, depending on everything. But hearing someone go off in the cypher kind of style where they, they have like full 16s and beyond that, 
was just like really refreshing. Yeah, we don't get to hear that too much, especially like you said, given that everybody's fighting for lines and bars and yeah. I understand it's a thing in K okay, hip hop where they yeah, got, yeah. you know, their sixteens um, and all like you, you kinda see it in groups. Um I don't even feel like naming them. It doesn't even matter. Because you can go with any group and get that same feel. Um, but it definitely is nice to have somebody be able to spit their own full sixteen, like on their own track, voice inflection, kinda changes up how they wanna do it. And you know what I mean? Like Everything, I don't. Well, I don't know how many songs it was. It had to be like nine or ten at least. I can't pick a bad song in the whole fucking playlist. It probably was six. So. <laughs> nah. <laughs> everything, everything hit. That da di da di da John. Yeah, I like that John too. Yeah, that John was. I like how he was flipping that. Did I? But then die. But then doctor. Like that was like the the dr. Like a doctor was like da da or whatever. Like it was like that the same homophone for like all those three different phrases which i thought was really great creative and did it with the cherry on top what's wild is he still outside too he ain't even play uh none of that gang gang or none mm-hmm. of that make a dance all that shit like from last year and this year i think this i think this video is from 2019 though okay then he not nah, 20 uh what's that goosebumps on the track came out last year Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, 2020. 2020. Okay, yeah, so I'm surprised certain shit uh, wasn't on here, but it, it, it's probably for the best. It showed his range. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, oh, this is this is good. Ten, ten bullets. He's special, man. I don't, it's, 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 it's probably always going to bring us back to the whole, like, why don't uh, SK rappers get the recognition as idols and they everything. They need more love. Um, but we we, we kind of I think are starting to gather around why it's just yeah. when you don't have this uh, particular mass appeal or a I was about to say no but when we were when we were watching the guide I thought they said the most popular genre was actually K hip hop or something like that or I don't know if it was about sales or something but it was uh, linked with Rock Nation right mm-hmm. they they company literally well he was the CEO of AMOG and then stepped down uh, to focus on music and shit but their company literally was linked with Rock Nation. Yeah. Um, so it ain't like, you know, I'm not going to say like they just some small ass label don't nobody know what's going on. They pretty much do what the fuck they want over there from what I see. I mean, they don't have backing, but like are the sales to where they can, where the industry would consider them idols. Is that there? Because that might be a thing. Mm. That might be the thing. I don't know. I, I don't want to speak on something that I don't know of because I haven't looked into his numbers. No, I get it. Have, Jerick, have you looked like in the Jackie numbers, Moon numbers, as far as like physical sales per year? Physical maybe? sales? No, I haven't. Nah, actually. not physical yeah, sales. Yeah, plus shit gonna go off SoundCloud metrics and everything yeah. else too, and streaming numbers. But I, it's it's not fair because anytime I've ever looked up SK numbers, idols automatically pop up, and I don't I don't even know what website I would go to to get the SK shit. Right, right. Um. It's just not fair, and we'll have a breakdown with it, and we'll probably do that into the next video because we're not about to turn this into a 40-minute thing with mm-hmm. us talking about that. But for this, did y'all have anything else that y'all wanted to add? No, I thought it was fire, man. No, it was, it was fire. It makes me want to look more into his category. Uh, not category. His um, discography. There you go. He's God's here. We just um, low wow. touched on it before. Here's I think y'all touched it again. Jackie I think y'all, y'all touched on it, too, is that just... Um, we, we want to get the channel to a space where we can show um, show off artists. Yeah, I didn't even talk to y'all about it too. I can say this on camera. Uh, <laughs> a, a record label reached out from SK today. Um, Wait for what? What? Um, I'm about to be in a K-pop group. No, nigga, you are not about to be in a fucking. About some K-pop collaborations group. and stuff all like that. I'll show y'all when we get off here and stuff for like us? that. But um, bye y'all like that. But. Definitely want to get to a point in the channel where we can kind of do whatever the fuck we want to do as far as like reactions and put people on because sometimes it may seem like a, a it may seem in a way to do particular artists but sometimes some niggas don't know who this is exactly. and we just introduce Army to Simon you know what I mean or it was some end citizens who never heard a bull before they was like oh no I just was here for this but y'all put me on him so yeah that's the beauty of reacting shit, that was, sure. I remember when I first. When I first saw that the night where I like played everything, you know, with him on there and all the other shit like that, he was like, "Yo, I never heard of this people, even people from SK." I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, "Whoa!" They was like, "Yo, thanks for putting me." I'm like, "Damn, bro, like that's crazy." Like, yeah, because so. our artists like him are normally those artists where like you'll hear him and then he'll jump on a track and you like, "All right, he on a track with Moon and Jackie. Who who are these other people he on a track with? Let me jump into that shit." 
damn, who's this moon person? Shit, exactly she, let me jump did. into this joint. Damn, who's this? Because I told you I jumped into uh, the Chandler 12 and all them all off that. And I just was like, oh, shit, let me jump into that. So, Same thing with, like, movies and everything, too. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all, 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 y'all here. Y'all know y'all did everything already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Redeemer. I don't remember the name. I just know it was during the live stream and everything like that. And I asked for some K-dramas. One person recommended Vincenzo, which I just finished. That shit is fucking amazing. Amazing. Uh, when I find you, uh, I'm, we, we doing whatever you request. That's on me. We doing it that night. So whenever I see you or whoever it was who said it, I'm going to do that for you. And I think somebody recommended extracurricular activities. If they didn't recommend that, that shit came up right after, and I'm watching it now. I fucking love it. SK got me in a chokehold. But... <laughs> Go ahead, just how y'all. 